Hello everyone, I am Piyush Vairani. So phase 1 exam is done and I have done the complete exam analysis. You can see the video, right? So based on the memory based question that what students have provided, I have done the exam analysis, right? So phase 1 we can see on the easier side, right? But now what about phase 2? How to prepare for that? You, because you can see it is expected that lot more students will clear this particular phase 1 examination, right? So we need to prepare for phase 2 fully. Okay, so let's discuss about phase 2 exam pattern, right, and the syllabus and how to prepare for that. Okay, so if you look at, uh, we just have 40 days now for phase 2 because on 21st of February we have a phase 2 examination, right. Syllabus is good enough, right. We have to complete entire syllabus, MCQ based questions are there, right. If you observe last year, so last time there was a coding test. But they have removed the coding test and now it is MC. Now and now it is object to a uh, type questions here. Okay. So let's see the exam pattern and the syllabus. So there are two things, two paper. Paper one is a descriptive English, right? So descriptive English paper. So I will come up with a separate video for this one. Okay. So how to prepare for this? So you can see this English paper is for 60 minutes and for 100 marks, right? For 100 marks, 60 minutes, right? For this particular video, we are going to focus on the paper 2 that is basically uh, what technical domain here. So you can see a paper pattern for IT stream here, right? So multiple choice questions on mix of logic flow completion, debugging, syntax understanding. So they can use a uh, code in Python or in C++, right? You need to find out the error in that particular code, right? You can see a program dry run output. So they will give a, a pseudo code or a Python code, and we and we need to find out the output of that code, right? So that is basically program dry run output and data analysis, etc. So you can see it's a MCQ based uh, exam, and you can see hundred marks exam, hundred marks and one eighty minute. It's a three hour paper, hundred marks for three hour, right? And you can see a. Uh, 40% is the minimum criteria and two-third weightage is given to the for this particular paper and one-third is given to the English paper, right? It means whatever the marks you are going to get in English, multiply by one-third plus whatever marks you are going to get in IT stream, multiply by two-third. So, you can see in the final selection, IT stream is going to play a huge role there, okay? So, we have to prepare it fully. So, 180 minutes, it's a three-hour exam, okay? You can see 100 marks there, right? So you can expect around 100 questions for 3 hours, okay, 100 questions for 3 hours. So they have not specifically mentioned the pattern here, how many questions will be there, what will be the marking scheme, right. But we, you can expect 100 questions here for 100 marks for 3 hours. Because if they can ask 50 questions for 40 minutes, but again, you can see that 50 questions was on the easier side, right. So for 3 hours, they can definitely ask 100 questions for 100 marks, right. Right, so two weeks before they will provide us a detail about the exam pattern here. So you can see exam pattern is fixed, but how many number of questions will be there and what will be the marking scheme? So they are going to provide just 15 days before uh, that. Okay, so generally, say we provide the handout for phase two examination, in that they will add all this information here. Okay, but what we can do now, we have to focus on the syllabus here. You can see phase two syllabus. First one is algorithms. You can see 30% weightage is given to algorithms. Then we have data structures. 40% weightage is given to data structures. Together is 70%, right? 70% weightage to algorithm and data structures, right? You can see sorting, searching, greedy algorithms, dynamic programming, backtracking, divide and conquer, right? So all these things basically you can see algorithm part, similarly data structure part. Array, linked list, stack, queue, binary tree, indexing, binary search tree, heap, hashing, matrix, and JSON object here. Right? So, what you can do? We need to solve previous gate CSC branch question, gate CSC or gate DA branch question based on the algorithms and data structure topic. Okay? You can expect a SEBI uh, will ask this type of gate exam questions, right? So, we have to prepare for that particular level. So, don't Expect that phase one was easy, so phase two they will also ask the easy question. No, you can see a general steam paper. Phase one was difficult side. They have also asked numerical questions in paper two, right? If you look at the general steam, right? 
so that we can see on the difficult side but now it stream was on the easier side so phase two we have to prepare fully now we can see about algorithms and data structures so we need to solve all the previous year gate cac or gate da question here right so you can see i already provided the video solution of each and every question based on this particular topic in my course because if you know me i already provide the gate da course right gate da entire course along with the test series for gate data science right and these topics are already covered in my course algorithms and data structures except this dynamic programming is not there in the gate da syllabus and this pattern searching is not there right so rest of the topics are there in the algorithm part in gate data science you can just refer to my the gate data science videos i have already added all these videos into our course right so i will go to my course also and see what we have covered now this is about the algorithm part we have to cover the concept and solve gate cac data science questions right also i am going to create lot more questions based on what they have specified here mix of logic flow completion debugging syntax understanding all those things if you observe phase one also in phase one if you have taken my mock test right so i have also asked this type of question in the phase one paper two right if you have attended my mock test so my mock test was on the difficult side as compared to a main original paper we can say right but that will help you to clear the phase two because in that i have asked question based on the debugging a program dry run output right so this regarding the algorithms part right we are going to focus on this particular topic data, dynamic programming and pattern searching which i already covered in my course you can just refer to the videos that's it data structure part array link list stack queue binary tree indexing binary search tree heap hashing matrix and json object right except this heap matrix and json object rest everything is covered in my course if you look at the gate data science syllabus also all topics are there in gate data science syllabus right so i'm going to record a video for this matrix and json object and heap okay so you can see 40 percent weightage is there so we need to focus a lot more on algorithms and data structures and if you look at almost i have provided the video content for this right i have added the video content for this particular topic so you can just refer to my course and you can see we are going to record a content for these remaining topics now string manipulation it's a new thing lang substring regex search i already uploaded four to five videos based on the regex you can check out the course you can check out the youtube videos also i have covered in lot more detail and based on that we are going to ask the question as well now search topic we have to cover substring len so all the string manipulation deals with what data analysis as you can see here and based on the python we are going to learn this right so we are going to focus on the python language for a string manipulation here even in the data structure part the question can be asked based on the array link list stack queue right so we are going to prepare all this topic using python right and also pseudocode based question will be there based on this particular topic okay pseudocode and python you can see mixture of that but string manipulation will be strictly based on the python you can see we are going to cover entire syllabus here for string manipulation i will complete the regex by tomorrow so that's it then substring length and search topic also if you observe string manipulation is part of sql also right so i will provide two three videos based on the sql if you observe phase one exam they have asked the question based on the like operator right name start with a or b right so a percentage it's a we can say like operator deals with the string manipulation here right so the, you can expect a question based on the sql as well in the string manipulation because in sql was a part of phase one syllabus right so we are going to cover all these things in sql as well not in detail but for exam point of view we are going to cover that okay so you can see string manipulation focus will be on python but two to three videos will be there based on the sql as well okay to be on the safer side because we don't know what type of question they can ask this is the first time this particular pattern is there for it officer now what about the fourth number object oriented programming oops concept you can see a lot more question was there in phase one exam as well right abstraction encapsulation polymorphism inheritance i am going to record all the videos for this particular topic and string manipulation here so we are going to cover this oops concept first in python we'll try to understand the concept using python and basic concept of this all these topics oops concept plus python and then you can see based on the phase one what we observe they ask oops concept using c++ there right 
So we'll focus on this thing as well. But first we'll try to cover the concept part using Python. And then we'll switch on to a C++. Okay. So this is the plan for a phase 2 here. Algorithm data structure part. You can see all the topics are covered in Gate, CSC and data science. You can just refer to a previous year question. You can check out my course. I already provided a detailed video for each and every topic here. Right? I will show you that as well. String manipulation and oops concept. I am going to record the videos. Right? So, string manipulation will be done by this week. Oops, we'll start by next week here. So, my plan is to cover all the things. String manipulation, object oriented programming and few topics which are remaining, right? So, all the topic video content by 31st of January, okay? So, you will be having 21 days to watch the content and practice, okay? So, this is the plan for the phase 2 here. Now, let me go to my course website and let me show you what we have already covered from this particular topic, okay? Okay, great. So, you can check out my website tuishwire.com. I will provide the link in the description and comment as well. You can just refer to that. So, phase 2 syllabus is already given here and you can see the what content here, what we have covered in the course. So, DBMS video, all these videos are part of phase 1, right? So, you don't need to go through that. You can see for SQL, you can go through the videos for uh, string manipulation, right? You can see phase 1 videos, right? We have covered almost all the topics right different types of joints we have covered set operators we have covered like that okay you can just refer to uh, those videos i'm going to add the videos regarding the string manipulation here then this is regarding the phase one now you can see python videos right so this is very important if you have not gone through the python uh, videos please go through that because this is the basic of uh, programming here right so this is very important go through the python videos first and then you can see algorithm and data structure video here if you just simply click on algorithm part so we have started with the graph theory okay where it is yeah graph theory you can see graph traversal bfs dfs spanning tree right so there was one question based on the spanning tree in phase one then you can see graph traversal technique then we have binary search tree right shortest path all these things we have covered here right then you can see data structure video right so array is there queue is there double ended queue stack link list type of link list trees right so we are going to cover all the data structures a topic in this particular course i'm going to add a lot more videos and then you can see sorting and searching algorithm here right linear search binary search all the sorting technique selection sort and python implementation of selection sort insertion sort bubble sort you can see divide and conquer technique if you observe there was one question in phase one right based on the divide and conquer technique quick sort was the answer for that so you can see we have covered almost everything and we are going to uh, record a lot more videos for this topic as well especially problem solving videos okay and then you can see as of now i have uploaded four videos for string manipulation i am recording that and by this week we'll complete the string manipulation part here using python okay so this is the plan for phase two videos and now you can see about my course Phase 2 topic wise test, you can see algorithm test. So, there will be 3 tests based on algorithm. See based on data structures. Each test will have 10 10 questions, right? Then we have string manipulation 2 tests and oops concept 3 tests you can see there, right? So, if possible, if time permits, if we have a lot more questions, we are going to increase the number of tests as well, okay? But as of now, this is uh, fixed here. Now, you can see phase 2 paper 2 mock test, okay? So, this are the mock tests for paper 2. So, 3 of our exam will be there and you can see 100 uh, questions will be there, right? MT1, MT2 like that. And then you can see descriptive part here, phase 2 descriptive, right? So, just 2 tests will be there, descriptive 1, descriptive 2 because this will be evaluated manually, right? So, we'll hire a few people, right? So, they will evaluate the English descriptive test here, right? But most of the... But focus will be on the technical part paper 2 here, okay. You can see this is our plan for phase 2 preparation, right. Now, if, if you are interested in purchasing this course, you can simply go to my website and you can see uh, 3000 rupees. As of now, I am providing the 1000 rupees discount for this particular course, right. You just need to use the coupon code SEBI50 to get up to 50% of course, right. If I simply click on this, so you can see here continue and you can see uh so you can see thousand rupees is already applied and you can just see two thousand rupees now okay so please hurry up this coupon code is valid for first 25 users only okay so 
this is for only first 25 users for phase 2 preparation here okay so you can uh, purchase this course at just 2000 rupees okay so you can see pdf uh, notes as well you can take the print out of that and almost all the question was asked based on this particular pdf in phase 1 right so we'll provide the notes for phase 2 as well okay so if you have any doubt regarding the course regarding the syllabus or paper and pattern for phase 2 simply comment below okay so that's it from my side thank you